Hi, I'm Ashley from SellMyComicBooks.com. Today I'm going to show you how to pack comic books into long boxes to ship them to us. Uh, now some of you may be wondering, is it safe to ship comics in long boxes? Well, the long boxes are designed to perfectly fit comic books and keep them safe. Um, and the other thing about long boxes is that they're so big that it's actually pretty hard for FedEx guys to abuse them too much. So they're about the right size to just be so hefty that you can't really throw them around. They're pretty heavy uh, when they're fully packed. But there are some precautions you need to take and I'm going to show you now exactly how to prepare a long box of comic books for shipping. So here we've got two long boxes of comic books. So these are um, a run of Uncanny X-Men from number four all the way up to number 500 and something. Uh, I want to show you what a typical long box of comic books looks like when you own them and you're not planning to ship them anywhere. <clears throat> so you can see here, at the front of the long box there's a bit of space and we want that when we own comic books and want to flip through them. It's a pain if they're too tight, you can't see each book, you can't lift them out. Um, so when we're storing comics we usually give it a little bit of space but this isn't ideal for shipping, because you can imagine, although these boxes are pretty heavy, you can ship them. And if the books can move around inside like that, that's undesirable. It can get, it can damage their spines. Uh, in extreme cases, the, the corners can get caught on the edge of the boxes and you can damage the corners. And so if you're shipping stuff in a long box, this is pretty much how you want it to look. See the difference, see how tightly they're packed in. And a good test here is if it's slightly difficult to pull them out of the stack. You see how much I had to work there? There was a Doctor Who comment, that's cool. Um, I had to pull, I had to put some effort in to bring that up. Now, the other precaution you take when you're packing long boxes of comics is to put the most valuable comics towards the center and put cheaper stuff at the ends. So what I did with this one was I took some of the 90s uh, X-Men and some of the old Doctor Who stuff I had lying around that needs to go back to base. It's basically Dolphin stuff at the ends. That way, although we're going to tape over these handholds, if something does pierce the box and through the handhold, like a, I don't know, I don't even know if FedEx uses forklifts, probably not for stuff like this, but just in case something happens, the books, the books at the end you don't care so much about. The ones in the middle are kind of protected by all the ones at either end. So I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do next. Now all long boxes are not created equal. Um, you can see the walls of the long box here, they, they're sort of corrugated cardboard. Sometimes you can get super heavy duty long boxes which are uh, double walled for extra protection. <clears throat> but these are just random ordinary ones. I still think I'm going to risk shipping this Silver Age um, to modern age X-Men run back to base in this long box because although I could brick these up and, and so on I, I don't have the supplies to hand and long boxes protect them pretty well. Uh, you can see how the books here are not all lined up equally. Some are uh, kind of butting up against the right hand and some of them are butting up against the left hand and to be honest that is actually quite desirable because it basically keeps the, the walls of the box in the, in the right place if there's any stress. But by the time we finish with it, we're going to make sure that the, the lid and the seams and everything are taped super tight. And we're going to use really good tape. I don't want you to go to a dollar store and buy dollar store tape. When you're shipping long boxes, the extra couple of bucks on Scotch parcel tape is really worth it. Um, second best would be duct tape. Um, the problem with duct tape is it doesn't always stick well to uh, different surfaces so with parcel tape you know you're going to be doing the right thing and what we're going to do before we tape it all up is we're going to just um, it's going to be pretty difficult to do this while I'm holding my phone basically what we're going to do is put the lid on it and give the box a, a little shake I don't know how I'm supposed to do that <clears throat> I'm going to hold the phone in my mouth, how am I going to do this? okay so basically I'm going to put my hands in the hand holds I wonder if I can prop this up Oh, there you go. Okay. I'm going to lift the long box. I'm just going to shake it. And what I'm looking for when I do that is to hear excessive movement. 
I could feel a tiny bit of movement, but it's not enough that it's going to bother me. If I shook this box here with all this space, and you can see how easy it is to move around, this would be flopping around like dead fish in here on the way back to base, and that's when you're going to get damage. Um, now, you might be thinking, okay, well, I've got a, one long box of comics to ship to you, and I've only got this many comics, what do I do? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. You can scrunch up newspaper um, and make kind of a pad at one end and a pad at the other end so that there's no room for the books to move around. You don't want the books to be able to move around. If there's not enough comics in your collection to stop them from moving around by packing them too tightly, then use pads at either end. But most people have more than one long box. Most people have several boxes. Sometimes they have short boxes. And what you'll find is if you have, say, six long boxes like this and a couple of short boxes, you can consolidate the short boxes into the long boxes by packing them tightly. So it's good because it means you have less stuff to ship as well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to put the phone down to do this. I'm going to start taping up the seams of this box. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do when you're getting ready uh, to ship a long box. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I've done because I couldn't do it and hold the camera. Everywhere that there's one of those natural gaps or seams, because of the way that they ship long boxes flat packed before you use them. I've taped with the heavy duty parcel tape. You can see the handle, I've covered the handle. Now FedEx guy should not stick his hand in there. You can, if you want, double or triple tape that if you want to be doubly sure, but they shouldn't be able to stick their hand in there. It's pretty strong. You can see how on the lid, that's the weakest point is the lid. So we want to make sure I, I run a long piece of tape all the way along and wrap it around the end. That strengthens the lid before we tape it onto the actual box. And then I run some tape this way around and also this way around. So you've got strength in three directions with the tape. And basically, um, I even did some underneath. Don't flip these, don't invert the boxes completely. Don't flip them onto the tops, but you can turn them onto their side slowly like that. And so you get to tape along this seam here too, which is also a weak point. And now moisture won't be able to get in there if it if it rains when they're carrying it from one van to a, another or a plane to a truck or whatever, it should be okay. So you have to take along all these seams. And this is pretty, pretty strong. This box is strong already. It's now one big solid lump and we receive shipments like this all the time. I know you might be feeling a bit nervous about shipping a long box, but as long as it's tightly packed inside, you can't really shift anything inside by shaking it and you do what I've done, use really good tape and tape all the seams and, and the holes and everything. This is a pretty bomb-proof way to ship us comic book collections. So all you need now is to take it to FedEx, get the FedEx label attached, and if you're shipping from Canada or overseas, they're gonna give you customs documents to attach. They give you a little, like a plastic pouch. Um, but anyway, this is all good to go, and if you have any questions, please shoot us an email. Thank you very much.